Hello everyone, I welcome you all to Geekscape. Today in this video I am going to show you how to install WordPress and after that I am also going to show you how you can easily use our WordPress for absolutely free locally on your system. So do watch the video till the end, I can promise you that you will be learning a lot of new things and if these videos are really helping you, you can always put a comment in your comment section letting me know that yeah this video is actually helping me and I need more videos on WordPress. So that will you know motivate me to make more such videos and again if you face any issues so that also you can let me know I'll try my best to help you. Now to install WordPress you need to first simply go to your favorite browser and to just simply uh, you know type over here WordPress download and hit enter and this will show you this download wordpress.org link you need to open that link and you can see get wordpress so this link i'm going to put right in our description so here you have to click on this download wordpress and you can see our wordpress is rightly started downloading over here so wordpress is the first product that we need to have and the next one that you need to have is zamp so open a new tab and just simply type over here zamp download and you'll be able to see this download zamp so open that and you can see our official site of Zam. so again this link i'm going to put right in our description so here you can see that our latest version of Zamp is version 8.2.12 so you need to click on this download button and you can see awesome our download will start automatically and you can see that our Zamp is rightly started downloading i have already downloaded both these two software so i'll cancel this you know i'll minimize my browser I'll go to my download directory and here you can see that we already have XAMPP then WordPress already downloaded over here, right? So you have to just simply first uh, double click on XAMPP to install it locally on your system. It will ask you for administrative privileges, just simply click on yes and let's minimize our download directory. So welcome to XAMPP and welcome to XAMPP setup wizard. So just simply click on next over here. So here you need to, you know, all the files are already been selected, you need to just simply click on next. So they're going to create a XAMPP folder over here, which is again totally fine. Click on next. And now it's ready to be installed. Click on next. And there you go. You can see our XAMPP is rightly started installing. Right. So this installing XAMPP will take some time, you know, so you can wait. So by the time our XAMPP get installed, I'll go to my download directory. And here, remember we have downloaded our WordPress, right? So let's you know right click and extract our WordPress over here. So just simply click on extract and you can see that our extraction of our WordPress is rightly began. So let's wait for some time, let both our XAMPP and our WordPress get extracted and then I'm going to again back to this video. So we'll come back and now you can clearly see that our WordPress is, is rightly extracted over here. Right, so you can close the folder now and uh, you can also see that our XAMPP is also installed so also do do you want to start XAMPP control panel this option is checked so just simply click on finish to launch our XAMPP and uh, you can also you know open our XAMPP by just simply go to going to the search icon and just simply type XAMPP so that will also show you this XAMPP control panel so from here also you can open so once our exam get open, you need to just simply start our Apache and you need to start our MySQL. So you can see both our Apache and MySQL are rightly started. So now you need to click on this admin. So that will open our you know local host PHP my admin within our default browser. So here you need to just simply click on new and we'll be creating our database over here. So let's give the database name as WordPress. So remember to give the WordPress you know database name as ws small so normally we give small so just simply click on create and you'll be able to see that our wordpress you know database is rightly created over here so that's all you need to do it over here for the, for the time being so let's minimize our browser now and go back to our you know download folder so here you can see that our you know wordpress is rightly extracted over here right if you go inside that folder you'll be able to see wordpress is rightly extracted right all these files are here now so what you need to do is you need to click on this wordpress folder and you need to click on cut so you are cutting our wordpress folder and then we are going back to our c drive we'll go to our xam folder and then we'll be going inside our htdocs folder and within our htdocs folder we are 
again right clicking and we are pasting that extracted wordpress folder over here so whatever files were there are now currently moved into our htdocs folder of xamp so here you can see the folder name is w is small right so same thing you need to type over here just need to open a new tab and type localhost first and after localhost give a slash and give wordpress and hit enter so localhost slash the name of the folder so let's say you want to create you know a couple of more wordpress folder so you need to give the you need to rename this wordpress folder name with wordpress folder 1 wordpress folder 2 like that right and here in our browser you know you need to type localhost slash wordpress folder 1 wordpress folder 2 like that if you are if you want to create you know multiple wordpress sites so that's just i wanted to tell you so once you do that you'll be able to see these languages so english is fine click on continue so let's go we'll be providing our database name so remember that database name that we have created is wordpress right so that same database name is what you need to provide over here wordpress so you need to provide your username so let's give the provide name as a root password i'll leave it blank and all other things are fine local host and wp only just simply click on submit and run the installation so when you click on this run the installation it's going to start installing our wordpress before that it will ask you for a site title let's give the site title as geeky script and username let's give the username as root and password also we are going to provide as root and confirm the use of weak password and email you can give any email so let, i'll just give a dummy email and i'm going to click on install wordpress so when you click on uh, install wordpress it's going to take some time you know about a minute or two hardly to install our wordpress so let's wait for a couple of minutes and there you go you can see that our wordpress is rightly installed so you can just simply click on login over here so let's give the same password username and password whatever you are given root and password is also root right you can also check this remember me so that you don't need to type that same user credentials again and again click on login and and it's going to log in so there you go welcome to wordpress right so you are rightly logged in logged in over here so let's hover our title so remember the title name that we had given is geek script and you'll be able to see this visit site click on that and it's going to redirect to the uh, uh, that uh, site that they have already created right so you can see our site is created over here so already you are having a website up and running right so anything you can change it over here let's go back to our desk uh, our dashboard here from here you can just hover over appearance and click on theme so you can install any theme from here you can also click on this add new theme and you can install any new theme from here you can see we have a lot of themes right so in this way you install latest version of wordpress on a windows operating system so do let me know in our comment sections if you need more videos on wordpress i'll be happy to make more videos and i have started geeky syntax channel so here i am going to provide more and more wordpress related videos so the videos will be on like how to create a cooking website or how to create an educational website and all that right so many of those videos you'll be seeing on our geeky syntax channel so for that i'm i'm going to request you to subscribe about this channel i'm going to put the link in the description and i have also started a geeky script vlogging channel so this channel also you can subscribe if you're interested so that's basically all about this video. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please do like, share and subscribe. That will really help me to make more such videos. Thank you very much for watching this video and God bless you all.